Carl Heinz Schutz, welcome to Culture Buzz and welcome to Israel. Thank you very much. Uh, tell us how it is. You've been here for a few days now. This is the fourth concert tonight. How is it? How is it playing music in Israel? It's a very particular experience for me. I'm very happy to come. It's, uh, as you said, the first time I'm coming to Israel. Of course, Israel, living in Austria, is always present in the, in the media because of the, the conflict often, very often. It's always there, but in the head, it's somehow, it is very far away. And I was very surprised when I took the plane from Vienna that it's only three hours, three hours away. And uh, culture-wise, it is so close uh, to Vienna. I feel very much at home, enjoy very much playing here and have a very nice uh, reception from the public. And uh, you are here because of your connection to the NKO. Yes, uh, it is uh, Charlie Fadel. He invited me to play this series of concert, uh, concerts with them. And um, Charlie invited me and we were discussing about the uh, repertory to play. And of course on the flute, if you have the flute, it's always the first thing everybody thinks about is Mozart. Mozart flute concertos I have played many, many times. And also our other big flute concertos, the Nielsen concerto, the Iber concerto. But uh, I said to Shalev, well, let's try something completely new. Let's try the Mendelssohn. The violin Mendelssohn. The violin Mendelssohn, yes. So it was your idea in the first place? In the idea. first place it was my idea. Shalev suggested Mozart and I said, no, not again. Mozart, let's do something new. Let's do the Mendelssohn. The Mendelssohn, the version, the flute version, I encountered as a child already with a recording by André Chadorian and in it, it inspired me very much. I was really 14, 15 years old when I heard this the first time and it is, uh, it sticked in my mind and it was, was a dream. I want to play this one day also and the, dra the dream becomes true here. Tonight. So did you use that old arrangement or did you work on it on your own? Actually it is not the, the arrangement of Andra Shadoyan, but it is uh, an arrangement that, that had been done in the 19th century already by a man called Wilhelm Bob. And Adrian, he did a new edition of it at the Biodo in Paris. And when I took it out now to play here for these concerts, I started from that edition. And I added together with uh, Sharif Adel, together we, we thought, well, here it's possible also to, to really stick on the violin part. So we tried to do as much as possible the, the original, the, original the notes that many songs really wrote. Yeah. Because Pop, Wilhelm Pop, he made it a little bit easier, because some things are not possible, and some things were not possible at the period, I think. Right. People would not imagine to, to do it. Yeah. yeah. Imagination has uh, with, time, uh, with, with time and excellence. No? We, we advance. Wow. So it was very impressive uh, to hear this. And I understand that you have plans for other pieces also in the future, from what Shalev told us. He told I, you already. Yeah. <laughs> Even before you started working on arrangements, he already has, I think, dreams uh, that are really uh, uh, co-dreams with you. It, it, is, it is true. I, I also made uh, two recordings this last year, solo recordings with piano. And I made one recording with the Brahms, clarinet, viola, sonatas. I uh, made an arrangement for the flute. And... Uh, well, the other recording is the Prokofiev flute sonata, which is really originally written for flute. And then Oyster, he said to Prokofiev, well, make an arrangement for the violin. So, right. so the arrangement and the flute is in the air. The arrangement is in the air when talking about flute music. There is a big hole, a big gap from 1830 to 1890, where we have really a lack of uh, repertory. There's not so much romantic yeah. Uh, repertory because the flute was not uh, equal, the sound was not uh, was not adapted anymore. The yeah. much more in fashion was the horn, the clarinet, right. the, big, the bigger sounds. Right. But now with the flute of today, we we have this uh, 
yeah. this possibility right. to, to make this up. And uh, so, this is okay. so now today you play on a flute. Like if you were a violinist, I would ask you about your Stradivarius. And yeah. now you are here with your flute, and it's, it looks very beautiful. Yeah, it is a very beautiful and very particular instrument, I must say. It's from the Japanese flute maker Muramatsu and uh, Mr. Aoki. He finished it, and the particular thing on it that is really solid gold, it's a 24 karat flute, wow. which is very, very difficult for the craftsmanship to, to build it. It's, it's, not, it's not easy. And to know Aoki building on this no means a genius flute maker making a very beautiful And it surely instrument. affects the sound too, no? Of course, yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. Wow. It, you it, wouldn't want to forget that one on a bus or a train? No way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, tell us about uh, your, uh, I mean, with the amount of uh, hand clapping and uh, a thunderous demand for more and more uh, hadrans, encores. Uh, uh, what are your plans for your future for yourself before we end? Mm. As you look forward in your career. As I look forward in my career, well, uh, what to say here? It is um, one of, just one small dream or something that gets you excited. About the future. Yeah, it, uh, I'm getting excited. Um, you can cut this also. No? Here we go. <laughs> yeah, but no, you can just no, what, go what is what is? Uh, yeah, one. Of course, it's important to talk about to think about career, about uh, putting one step after another. But my focus is more on on the daily on the daily processes as a. As a musician, you have to, every night when you play your concerts, you have to be uh, aware of the moment and to make, produce the sound, the notes at the spot. When it's over, it's over, it's done. And the next day, you have to do it again. So it is important to, to live in this uh, presence right. and to do this every day. So it's important to make one step after another and not getting cloudy, you know, not too... Too, too wide, yeah? because things develop in a in a natural way. And well, now there are four four more concerts to play with the orchestra. There is a recital in Jerusalem, so I think forward uh, yeah. for the for the very next future. Right. And then you ask me one uh, one very special thing in the future that will happen is my first New Year's concert on 2014. Together with Daniel Barenboim, this ah. is a very special moment, and I'm very happy that I will be in the, I'm going to be in the crew there. Thank you very much for giving us your time, Thank and you. Uh, we hope to hear more and more of you. Thank you very much. Thank you.